without much ado i'd like to request the all india president shri nimish pandya to commence the conference with his welcome address shri nimish pandya garu om shri sai ram offering our most humble salutations at the divine lotus feet of our most beloved master bhagwan shri sat sai baba on behalf of all present here today we bow down to our master at his divine lotus feet we offer ourselves to him and pray to him that he uses us as his instruments to fulfill his divine will dear brothers and sisters from all over india today is indeed a very very auspicious day and all auspiciousness must start with a divine offering i have always said that at various functions we always begin with the prayers and we always light the lamp but let us ensure that this time when we light the lamp at the beginning of this conference let it not be only a symbolic thing that we do on the stage but this light this lamp which we are now going to light today is a lamp that each one of us will carry in our hearts and will ensure that this light keeps on burning bright and effulgent for all the years that we have life and breathe and the breath to breathe and ensure that this divine light of bhagwan's love and affection we carry with us throughout the length and breadth of this country wherever we go so let us begin this conference by lighting the lamp and offering to bhagwan our prayers and ensuring that this light this lamp is also lit in our hearts while we pray and offer to bhagwan may i request my colleague brother ramni and brother venu shrinivasan here to join me in lighting the lamp at the conference <laughs> state presidents from all the parts of india members of the national council vice presidents of the different states of india district presidents who have come members of the trusts of the state of different parts of the country and my most dear brother samiti conveners from all over india a warm welcome to all of you to prashant nilam <laughs> as i said indeed it's a very blessed day today because now we are on the anvil of the 95th birthday celebrations of bhagwan shri sat sai baba and 5 years from now we will be heading towards the centenary celebrations of bhagwan shri sat sai baba indeed it's a great opportunity for all of us to take a fresh guard like in every cricket game every batsman takes a fresh guard and to ensure that his stumps are covered and that he can face every ball that comes to him in the right manner in the right way this is the opportunity this is the time when all of us together have to take guard and what is this guard that we take we take guard to the stumps and the first stump is are we ready to ensure and believe and experience that swami is within us the second guard is to ensure and believe as to why we are here and the third is whether we believe that the same master who is inside us is in the heart of every other individual human being three very important things that we need to understand 
before we embark upon this lovely golden period leading on to the centenary celebrations of our beloved Bhagwan. These celebrations are not for the physical form of Bhagwan or for Bhagwan. Bhagwan always said, I don't need anything. It's not my birthday. I don't need anything. I only need one thing. And that is that I want each one of you to improve yourself, transform yourself. And by transforming yourself, become the role model for society so that the society will then have faith in the message of Bhagwan Sri Sathya Sai Baba. The whole story is about transforming ourselves, brothers and sisters. The Satisai organization doesn't believe that we are doing something for somebody else. It's always about improving ourselves first. None of us ever would be capable of passing the test of Bhagwan Chit Satisai Baba if we ourselves have not embarked upon our journey of self-transformation. This is the first thing we need to set right as we embark upon this journey to the centenary celebrations. This organization, as Bhagwan has rightly said, was always created for self-improvement and therefore the logo, the motto of the Sai organization is transforming self to transform the world. This is very important because in our organization, the path that Bhagwan has laid for us is a path where ego has no place, where jealousy has no place, where competition has no place. There is only one space and that space is for love, love and love and unconditional love that every human being must have for another human being. This is the strength of the Sai organization. This is the power of Sai that blesses us to do what we do. I have always believed that the Sat Sai organization is not an ordinary organization. This is a great blessed divine organization which has the blessings of ordinary people doing extraordinary work and that is the beauty of the Sai organization. We don't stand on the stage and proclaim like a peacock what we have done. In fact, even the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing. In fact, the fact is that all over the country, all over every nook and corner of this divine land of Bharat, millions of devotees under the direct direction of Bhagwan Sri Sai Baba are enjoying bliss. They are doing exactly what Swami has asked us to do. And therefore, brothers, it is very important for us to refocus on this situation. The world of Sai is a Sai, is a world of love, unconditional love, where there are no barriers of color, creed, grass, religion, geographical divisions. There are no barriers in the Sai organization. There's only one bonding factor of love that binds all of us, and that is what the world needs today. I have no hesitation in saying today that all the problems of modern day world today Whatever it may be, aberrations in society, in moral characters, in political fields, in social fields, everything that you see in the world, the cause is only one, that everyone lacks unconditional love. And this power of giving unconditional love to society is only with the members of the Sai organization who have this divine power of giving society unconditional love. And all the society needs today is unconditional love and that only the Sai organization can give. No other organization in the world has the capacity of giving unconditional love to society. And we are blessed by Bhagwan to this situation, brothers and sisters. As we embark upon this conference today, I welcome each one of you. I welcome each one of you to the abode of Bhagwan, which is our home. It's the home of our master. It's our real destination. But here, coming and going back is not going to be enough. As we go back, we have to fill our hearts with Swami's love. Ensure that ego doesn't come in the place. And we have this capacity to love unconditionally everyone. Today I want to declare that in the Sai organization, our structure is not top to bottom. Our, in our Sai organization, the All India President is not an important person. The State President is not an important person. The Vice Presidents are not important people. The district presidents are not important people, but the real and the most important people, the most valuable asset of Bhagwan Sri Sat Sai Baba in the Satya Sai organization is you, Samiti Conveners of India. Because you have the direct mandate from Bhagwan to carry his love to the grassroots. As they always say, the last mile is most important. The All India president can create programs and give instructions. 
the state presidents can create programs and give instructions. But the ultimate responsibility to carry the last mile message of love and through vibration and actual action lies with you, brother conveners. And therefore, I take this opportunity to salute each and every Samidhi convener of this country and my hats off to each one of you for doing what you do. But this entails a lot of responsibility. I have this great belief that in the Sai organization, Bhagwan has already told us what to do. Bhagwan has already told us how to do bhajans. Bhagwan has already told us how to do Nagar Sankirtan. Bhagwan has already told us how to conduct study circles. Bhagwan has already told us how to conduct Bal Vikas. Bhagwan has already told us how to do seva and with what spirit to do seva. Therefore, fresh instructions on these issues are not required. The All India President doesn't have to give instructions on this. The State President doesn't have to give instructions. You already have the direct instructions of Bhagwan how to carry this. And to do this work of Bhagwan, you need no permission from anybody at all. You can do exactly follow Swami and expand the growth of love throughout the length and breadth of this country. And that is why today in this conference, we have taken umbrage under the direct instructions of Bhagwan Sri Satsai Baba given to Samiti Kanvinas and the organization over the last 50, 60 years. We have published a book of all the discourses of Bhagwan with highlights which is the guiding factor of each Samiti convener. Some of my state presidents, I'm grateful to them, have already translated these discourses and highlights in their local languages. And you will get those books, or maybe they're already given, or they will be given to you now, and we'll be already distributing the English version of it to whoever requires the English version. But my humble request to Bhagwan today and to all of us is, let us strictly abide by what Bhagwan has said. In the Sai organization, we do not need to invent or, in, or think of new ideas, as people say. Our only duty for the next five years is to strictly follow Bhagwan in his word without debating what Bhagwan has said. If whatever Bhagwan has said, we do it with eyes closed, with full faith and conviction, we will never fail in our mission of being true instruments of Bhagwan Shri Sai Baba. We want to close all debates of what Bhagwan said and what Bhagwan did not say. Our duty is to simply act and see that we follow our Bhagwan with unflinching faith. No discussions, no debates. Just follow what he has said. And I think our salvation lies in strictly following what Bhagwan has said. Because never ever do you get opportunity again when the avatar comes and gives personal instructions to us. When the avatar comes and gives personal instructions to us, who are we to debate upon it and create theories out of it? Mankind has always done it in the past, whether it was Vedas or Ramayana or Mahabharata or Bible or the Quran. Everyone wanted to bring out theses and treaties out of what the books, holy books said. But we do not want to make that mistake. All our Samiti conveners will come together and strictly abide by what Bhagwan has said. If Bhagwan says discipline is important, it is important. If Bhagwan says you cannot debate, it is no debate. If Bhagwan says one should not fight with the other, let us not fight. If Bhagwan says we should tolerate and accept and sacrifice, let us accept and sacrifice. Let us surrender at the divine lotus feet of Bhagwan because that's where the greatness of the next world and the world of Sai requires and we should do. I also have a request now that do not think of new programs and new ideas. The work which Bhagwan has given us in the three wings of the Sai organization, which is service wing, education wing, and the spiritual wing, this is our foremost duty. Let us spend our time in expanding bhajans. Let us spend our time in increasing the Bal Vikas movement. Let us spend our time in doing service which is capable of being done with perfection. It is important that whatever service we embark upon should be done with perfection because it is being done in the name of Bhagwan Shri Satsai Baba. There is no compromise on quality. We may do little work, but let's do the best work. Bhagwan has always told us that little bit of cow milk is better than liters and liters of goat milk. And this is something which we need to understand for the next five years. Brothers, Samiti conveners, I'm extremely happy to have you over with us today because the mission of Bhagwan Shri Satsai Baba lies squarely on your shoulders wherever in different parts of the country you are. And spend, let us pray to Bhagwan that we spend these two days with full devotion. Let us understand everything that Bhagwan has said. The entire two-day program is based only on Swami's discourses and nothing else. Let us imbibe those messages of Bhagwan. Let us imbibe that blessing of Bhagwan and go back with great vigor and great courage when we go back to Advaita Samiti so that we can fulfill the mandate of Bhagwan Shri Sai Baba. 
नैनों में प्रेम धार वचनों में अमृत धार सदगुरु साई मेरा जीवन का धार दिस इज द मोटो दैट वी विल नाउ कैरी फॉर द नेक्स्ट फाइव इयर्स वी विल शो लव थ्रू आर आईज विल स्पीक स्वीटली टू पीपल एंड जेन्यूनली and love everyone who comes irrespective of the person we like him or we don't like him we will embrace everyone we will work together in unity without any division we don't want to see any division in the sai organization in fact i am praying to bhagwan today before i close that let the day come before the centenary celebration when one india becomes one sai organization all states merge into one all samitis become one the whole mankind becomes one in india is a prayer that i make to bhagwan today and with this prayer i once again welcome each one of you and let's have a blissful moment for the two days a lot of good things happening let's pray let's empty our hearts of all the negativities let's fill it with love so that we can share it as we go back jai sai ram thank you i have a proud privilege of handing over the proceedings now to my young brother dr shashank shah an alumni of the sri sat sai Institute of Higher Learning, a great academician and a person with great dedication, love for Bhagwan. I am also grateful to him because he has been very much instrumental uh, in creating the entire course content for these two days. He has done a lot of research uh, on Swami's discourses and great pains he has had to see that on every aspect what Swami has said comes to the fore. Because as I said, we only want to do what Swami has said. Put your hands together for the young man, Dr. Shashank Shah, for the next part. And while Shashank takes over, I request the state presidents and vice presidents to join me in another meeting at 11 o'clock, where we will meet and discuss something very important. The tribal program that we discussed in the morning, we like to carry it further. So we'll just as quickly as you can, we'll meet in the audiovisual room of the Book Trust as fast as you can. Thank you and thank you very much.